Rita, it's Kath again. Do you uh -huh. uh, typically, um, or you know, at any time, do you, you pre-select maybe the colors that you're going to use in your palette and just kind of use that, you know, out of your main box? You know, I, I get that question every now and then, and actually, I don't. I don't purposely pre-select. I might actually subconsciously be selecting colors that I know are going to work well for this as I'm digging around in my box. Like I'll have, you know, like I've, done, I've probably done so many Hereford cows that have particular colors in them that I'll know what I need. When I go to my box, I'll know what I need to get a certain look that I want. Exactly. Yes. In that respect, but, but yeah, don't pre-select. And you know, I probably ought to more often because way back when I had these odd frames, I think they were Hobby Lobby frames, and they had some really weird colors in them. They were like a greenish brown and a coppery sort of color in there. And I was like, you know, these frames are not going to look good on my paintings, my colors that I use. So I, for those, I intentionally picked colors that, mm -hmm. that matched what I saw in the frames. And I, I chose like half a dozen colors. And then I made sure that the other colors I used in the painting went along with those colors. And the paintings themselves looked a little different than my usual, but they sure looked good in those frames. <laughs> so sometimes you do want to do that, you know, um, or if you just, if you just want to try a different color palette that you're not used to, it's good to just experiment like that. Um, I rarely get the chance to just experiment like that. I'm usually really stuck in my ways. <laughs> we do have a lot of people that are relatively new to pastel. And so uh, I, I guess it's all an experiment, but it's really nice to be able to, you know, present different ways that artists, you know, how, how do you know what to pick up? Oh yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, if you ever get into that, if you ever get into that problem, like, I don't know what color or I can't find the right color. In fact, strike the word color out of your mm -hmm. vocabulary. If there's one really important piece of advice, that would be it. Color does not matter. It's value and then temperature. It seems like a lofty sort of thought, but it's not really. I had to hear it a lot. Like when I was learning, I had to hear value is more important than color and probably half of you have already heard that from somewhere else. Value is more important than color. I had to hear that a dozen times before it started to sink in. And I would take that one step further, and there are other artists too that, that do. If you have value and temperature correct, you don't need to think about color. That's all color is. Color is value and temperature. So, you know, if you have those two things right, it's all going to work. So anyway, back to, back to the fun part of just paint.